Good afternoon, this is Chris Haynes coming to you on this Monday, February 1st. Can't believe we are already a full month into 2021, but here we are. Hope that you are having a good day today. Hope that you are finding ways to stay warm and stay comfortable today as you are doing whatever it is that life brings you to do today. Uh, not a whole lot of announcements for you today. I uh, just want to say a word of apologies and thanks for your patience as we continue to try to uh, work out the uh, difficulties that we've had on Sunday mornings with our streaming worship. Uh, it seems like every time we uh, get one bug nailed down, we find another one that we didn't know had been there before. So we are working on that. We hope to be back to kind of an acceptable level of uh, quality again soon, but thank you for your patience as we move through that. Uh, today I want to read for us some verses from the book of Isaiah. This is the appointed Old Testament lesson for this coming Sunday in the church calendar, and it's also uh, a passage that I have found myself returning to many times over the years. Uh, I like it so much that I have some of these verses uh, as a piece of artwork hanging in my office. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 40, verses 21 to 31, and it's a reminder about our need for relying on the Lord for our perseverance. So I hope that this might speak to our hearts today. So listen to these words from the prophet Isaiah. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them like a tent to live in, who brings princes to naught, and makes the rulers of the earth as nothing. Scarcely are they planted, scarcely sown, scarcely has their stem taken root in the earth when he blows upon them, and they wither, and the tempest carries them off like stubble. To whom then will we compare, or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see, who created these? He who brings out their host and numbers them, calling them all by name. Because he is great in strength, mighty in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Today we pray for those who are on our hearts, many of whom do need that perseverance that God provides through the difficulties of life. We pray for Ann Kinney. Bill Bobbitt, Buck Summercamp, Faye Camper, Janice Patterson, Kelly Odom, Patty Almond, Ray Berryman, Paul Schlecht, Reed Anderson, Tom Riney, Bill Emerson, uh, moving to the families of those who have passed on, uh, the family of Bill Emerson, the father of Vince Emerson, who passed away over the weekend, uh, the family of Gary Denley, of Harvey Markham, of John Bradley Eason, of Larry Overman, of Linda McKee Moore, and of Terry White. For all of these, let us join our hearts together and go to the Lord in prayer. 
New every morning is your love, great God of light, and all day long you are working for good in the world. Stir up in us a desire to serve you, to live peacefully with our neighbors, and to devote each day to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Together we pray for the people of our congregation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who suffer and those in trouble, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are working for justice and peace in our world, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all workers as they go about their jobs, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our government leaders, local, state, and national, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the church universal, its leaders, its members, and its mission, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the communion of all the saints, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we unite our hearts to pray together the words that Jesus himself has taught us as we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God bless you. Stay warm today. Hope you have a great afternoon and evening. Look forward to praying with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.